summer. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Composite Nation. My name is Mario Olvera and I want to now show you a new tool that I developed. It is called BreakGen. It's a new tool for Photoshop. It is a Photoshop extension that you can open here in extensions. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple and uh, it is pretty useful because what it does, it creates, a, it generates a breakdown from your Photoshop document. If you have a lot of layers and you're going to build a breakdown, and you just click, you just set up, set it up here, select output folder, and you just click generate. It's pretty simple to use. Let me show you how it works. First of all, you have to choose a name for your breakdown right now. When you open BreakGen, it automatically, if you have a Photoshop document open, it will automatically uh, get the name of your document and not the word breakdown for you. So, and you can change it if you want it as well here. So. Uh, next we have set speed here you can customize how much time you want each frame to last for example you're telling break gen that the late time between frames it's going to be 0.5 seconds so a half of a, of a second so every half of, of a second will show a new a new layer okay so it goes from the bottom to the top so just mind that Next, we have the last frame delay. So this is pretty cool because you can set how much time you want the last frame to be on screen. So once all the layers are visible now, it will uh, take like three seconds after it loops again. Well, if you choose GIF, for example, if you choose MP4, it's just going to be just one way and it's all like that. But if you choose GIF, the last frame will last for example three seconds and after those three seconds it will end all the breakdown and it will loop the breakdown over and over and over and over so the gif is rendered as an infinite loop so next we have the output format and the size here you can choose if you want to export the break the breakdown in gif format or gif i don't know how you name it <laughs> it's okay but uh, you can choose the gif or the mp4 it, it is the GIF works amazing, for example, for um, Facebook, for websites, uh, and actually for Behance or something like that works very cool. Uh, just mind that the larger the size, it will take more time to generate the, the breakdown as well. So you can uh, choose both formats at the same time. So once it once one finish, the other one wins will start. So for example. We are gonna do a test with the MP4. The MP4 can be used for Instagram, for it can be used for uh, YouTube, it can be used for Facebook, it can be used for anything. So it's pretty cool. So the size that you set for the output format, the longest uh, side. So if it is horizontal, the the width will be this size, and if it is vertical, this quantity will be the the height. So that's pretty simple guys and uh, it, it reminds of, of course the aspect ratio so don't worry about it and after you choose the output format and the size you'll just have to do select the output folder go to this desktop and for example whatever you choose to, to save your breakdown it will create a breakdowns folder for you so you can track more easily your breakdowns okay if you choose and f the breakdowns folder and you select that folder, it automatically detects that it, it is a breakdowns folder and uh, it won't create another folder <laughs> inside that. So that's pretty simple. That's all the steps and you just click generate and it will automatically will generate the breakdown for you. So you just have to wait a little bit. Uh, MP4 takes a little bit more time than the GIF. So just mind about that. And um, for example, right now, the breakdown, it's, it is already made. The breakdown is already made. And what it, it is doing it is just exporting, well, uh, in a few seconds, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now, now what it is doing, the breakdown is already done and it is just exporting in the MP4 format. So. I'm gonna forward this a little bit, so... There you go guys, so it is already done. And uh, if you see here, we have the, the breakdown here. I have a few that I made as a test. But we have here, 
and uh, if you see every half of a second it will show a new layer on top of it so this is pretty cool i use it for all of my composites all of my photographies uh, and you can use this for commercial photography you can use it for illustrations you can use this for portraits as well for portrait retouching so you can use it on any photoshop document guys so this is pretty cool it is a pretty cool and elegant way to show your work and uh, i hope you really like this tool and hope you find it really useful because i think this is going to save you a lot of time that it does for me and uh, yeah guys if you have any comments of about it about this uh, please let me know and uh, please subscribe like the video and share it with your friends if you like it and see you in the next video